Hi, it's Julie. Welcome to our first Paper Wings Productions video. In this first video, we will be taking a closer look at the new window set that was just released. This is a clear set and it's easy to use with acrylic blocks for making your stamping easier and where you can see how to put the pieces together. Now I'm going to show you all the parts of the stamp set. Of course there's an actual window frame and several different items that are used for accessories such as the shutters. You can stamp those twice. We have a valance or a awning, a window ledge or window sill, a pie, a vase of flowers, a cat, we've got a bird house and a bird, and a window flower box that's really great. You can use that with it vertical or horizontal. And then these two lines here, they're used to create uh, window panes. So I'm going to start showing you a few of the stamps. I'm using Memento Ink by Sukuneko and I'm stamping out a few of the items so you can see how you can piece them together. So first we have the window frame and it stamps really clean and clear. We're going to be adding the window sill or window ledge and it's easy to line up especially if you're using acrylic blocks. You just add it to the edge. You could use this on the top or on the bottom. Now I'm going to stamp a vertical line and a horizontal line to create four window panes. The great thing about having the different lines is that you can use them to create any number of panes that you like or you could use them on a scrapbooking page. You could um, stamp several lines for your journaling. Um, I know sometimes I need lines and some people don't want lines but um, it's sometimes really helpful and you could stamp it in a light color that wouldn't show if that's the look you're going for. Now as you can see we only need one shutter but we can stamp it multiple times. So I've stamped two shutters here and I'm also going to stamp out the pie and a vase of flowers. And I'm going to actually stamp these flowers twice because I want to be able to um, not have to cut out the the stem and the leaves and the flower but the vase itself I can color in and and add it later. So in this colored version where I've used distress markers you can see I've colored all the pieces and I couldn't stand it I just had to add that little red bird. Now I'm stamping up uh, a, a word um, sentiment from the kind words sentiment set that we just released as well. These sentiments were all written by um, Lizzie Allen, one of our designers. Um, they're handwritten by, by her. They are quotes from other people. But um, I just love her handwriting and it lends a very um, handmade look to your card. Now, I've used two different types of tape, mostly foam tape, but this one is some double stick tape and I'm going to put this on the card and use the shutters to help guide where I'm placing things so that I can kind of get things lined up a, a bit better. I don't want my shutter to end up going off the edge of the page, so I used it sort of as a guide and flat tape for the window itself and then uh, foam tape for the shutters and when I put the shutters on I'm going to add them actually on top of the frame instead of beside the frame to give it more of a realistic look like as if they're attached um, for, sh um, for the way it appears on the screen. Um, also the other elements, the bird, the vase, and the pie, they're also foam tape and you can see I'm having a little difficulty with the foam tape here getting the getting that peeled off. Why is it that that never wants to let go? So um, you can see here I'm going to add the different elements. I don't know about you but I used to love going to my grandmother's house at Thanksgiving and certainly she would have a pie cooling on the windowsill or on the pie rack and it just it's kind of nostalgic to me. I love the way you know that memory that it conjures up and and I think it looks so cute and it's unexpected in this um, set. So uh, the cool thing with this vase, and I'm paper piecing it where I've just colored it in, but we had someone come to one of our make and takes and she stamped it on some pattern paper where she could get the design just right inside there and it looked so 
just so cute, so personalized. And there's that little bird. You can just sit him anywhere. He sits on the ledge. He sits up on the on the shutter. He could even sit on his little uh, birdhouse. So that's our first finished card, and we're going to show you a few more. In this next set, I'm showing you a few items that I've stamped ahead that I'm considering using for my card, um, but I thought about coloring them, but I thought, well, I'd really like to try some paper piecing. So what I've done is I've stamped the elements on different pieces of paper. This is just some light green paper that I had in my stash for the flower box because I want the base to be that color. I'm going to use some dark gray paper for my background to act as my house. Then a light gray and a light blue. The light gray is to be the window frame and the light blue is going to represent the glass of the window. Then I found this tag that I distress inked in my stash and this paper from Studio Calico, the 6x6 paper pack abroad. It, it just reminded me of awning. So. Now, I thought the cat would look cute as a calico cat, so I'm stamping him on the orange. And then here's the um, balance. I'm going to replace it and make it look like an awning, but I'm going to stamp it on the back of the paper with a light colored ink and make two stamps of it and then cut it out to the length that I need it to be. So you can see here all the pieces are finished. I've got the flower box colored all the flowers in with Prismacolor pencils. The cat cut out of the um, distressed inked tag. And then this is another sentiment we have from our scripture set. This one is also a set handwritten uh, by Lizzie Allen, but uh, we've got some biblical scriptures and then this sentiment which I love to go with the window. When God closes a door, he always opens a window. And here's my valance, and I put some flat tape at the top and foam tape at the bottom. And what this is going to do is when I put it down on the window, it's going to lift up the bottom and make it sit away from the window just a little bit. And the nice thing about this, too, is I don't have to match the top of the valance with the top of the window. I can raise it up and give that window a little more size to fill up the space of my card. I just love that stripe makes me happy. <laughs> um, the flower box, it, it's a little, it's a bit of fussy cutting to go around that, but you know, it's easily, you know, any little mistakes are easily avoided and um, it's pretty easy to cut. It's really not that bad if you're used to fussy cutting. Uh, and then we've got our cat. I love him at the corner of the page and I love the different colors in that uh, distress tag, so I think he came out pretty cute. So that's a great card. Someone's having a bit of a tough time. Give that card to a friend. Love that sentiment. And so here I'm going to do one more quick card. And I don't typically do cards that are flat. I tend to have lots of layers or, or extra embellishments. But I wanted to try one that would be a very quick card. Clean and simple card as well. well so I stamped the birdhouse three times. And I'm going to add my little bird, I just love him, and sit him on top of the birdhouse. And I'm going to quickly, you're going to see it in super fast motion, because I was trying to color so carefully that the video took a long time, so I sped it up. But here I am coloring with some more distress markers. And uh, of course you can make all the different birdhouses different colors or add different uh, papers. You could stamp it on different papers and then just color in the roofs. So that would be really cute. Uh, and then I'm going to do the bird in uh, yellow and actually two shades of yellow. I think I used this, the mustard seed and then a little bit of wild honey around the wing and around the bird's tail to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. And then I just wanted a simple thanks and I just grabbed a pen to write thanks just to remind you that you, you don't have to have a stamp sentiment and just as in scrapbooking people love to see your handwriting so um, if you're if you're a little intimidated by writing on your own you know something like just one word a word of thanks or even write it on another piece of paper and then add it if you're afraid you're gonna uh, mess up the writing I know I used to have that fear a lot and this isn't perfect but I you know I think that the person will really enjoy it thanks so much for watching our video today and we hope you come back soon put on those paper wings and let your creativity take flight